Hey guys, um, so there was a question here about how would I make a class if I'm using the online tool that um, I've given you guys. So let's go ahead and let's do that together. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to this repel, uh, then you click on it, and what this will do is it will take you here. Uh, now what you're going to notice is that there is something here called files. This is where you can actually make other files or different classes. So that's what we're going to be doing. So it's just going to take a while for it to load. All right. So here you have your main class. Now, when we were working on this in Visual Studios, you had like using and all these usings. If you're going to use anything other than the system, you got to add it in. So if you notice something isn't working right, um, check it out, find, figure out what usings um, that you may need. So what I'll also do is open up Visual Studios just to show you all the usings that they typically have. Uh, then we have class, main class. Uh, so it's a little bit different. There's no namespace in here in, um, as there is in Visual Studio. So to make a new class, all you do is you go up here to where it says add file. You click on it. And now you got to give it a name. So let's just go back here for a second. Uh, right there. All right, so now we got to add a file and we got to give it a name. So if I wanted to make a card class, I would just go card.cs. Now you have to have the .cs so it knows that it's a C sharp file. You click enter. It then starts to create it. Now you'll notice that there's a one there. If you didn't get that one, it's probably because you didn't put a .cs there. So now all we have to type is using uh, system. And now to make our class, we go public class. And this class, this next thing I write, the name here has to be the same as this name here. So I said card. So this is gonna have to be card with the same thing, capital S or capital C, sorry, no S. All right. And now here is where you would start to make all your functions and your variables. So I'd go like private, private, int, um, value, or private suit, or string, suit, all those types of things. All right. Now, well, you'll notice here's the string didn't kind of become a color. So let's take a look here. If I go to just this file here, the solution, just wait, let's see how long this takes. Takes a little bit of time, but that's okay. And check your cell phone, check all your messages you're getting from your classmates, all the notifications that you've gotten from other teachers. All right, so here is all the usings. So if you want to be able to use everything that we typically use, you can just take these and I'll put them on this video here so that you guys can see it. And now we'll see what happens with the string. All right, so private string suit. And now string is colorized because we have them now. All right, so this is how you'd simply make a class and you do all your functions in here, do all your variables, and there we go. Uh, so when you hand this in, you just hand it in, hand in this stuff here. If you don't want to hand it in online through this compiler, you can just simply copy it all into a text document or into an email and send it to me in an email. All right, so I hope this helps. I hope that answers your questions. If you have any, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you again. Okay, bye.